Hello, Ghost Hunters. I recently gave Ghost Exile a try. Here's my take on how it stacks up to Phasmophobia. Let's keep in mind that Ghost Exile has only been released for a few months, while Phasmophobia is quickly approaching its two-year mark. In that time, Phasmophobia has had many updates and changes to polish its content. Meanwhile, Ghost Exile is still fairly new, and while updates are happening frequently, it's still in its early phase. The first thing I noticed about Ghost Exile that I liked more than Phasmophobia is that your flashlight does not take up an inventory slot. You can carry three items plus additional items found in the house at all times. You do have to pick up equipment with an empty hand though. I think being able to carry more equipment plus your flashlight is always good. I also love that lighters are not a purchasable item, but rather an item you can find inside of the house. This makes searching the house and checking inside of drawers a much more needed task. The second most obvious difference is the sound. Phasmophobia really excels with their sounds, and this is part of what makes Phasmophobia so good. Not all sounds in Ghost XL are bad, but definitely some of them need to be a bit more polished. Despite a large number of ghosts to choose from, it's easy to narrow down your ghost type. Since there are 10 clues to look for to determine your ghosts, there are less ghosts with overlapping evidences, and thus it is easier to specify your ghost type. Overall, in Ghost Exile, I find that the ghost movement is generally creepier than in Phasmophobia, although Phasmophobia definitely has creepier ghosts. With the recent changes to Patient 7 in Phasmophobia, we may find that ghost movement in Phasmophobia surpasses that of Ghost Exile in the near future. For the time being, and based on the age of Ghost Exile, they've done an excellent job with the movement of their ghost. They have more character and more frightening movements than Phasmophobia had at this stage. One thing I wasn't necessarily fond of in Ghost Exile is that not all equipment is provided at level 1. I also didn't like that items like the spray paint and the ritual book aren't available to lower level players, as this limits players' ability to complete tasks on their earlier hunts. I would assume developers did this intentionally to ease players into their game before adding in more difficult tasks. I also appreciate that you can turn on as many lights as you want without fear of tripping the breaker. This doesn't mean that the ghost won't turn the breaker off or flip the lights off, but most things can be done in the light and players can turn on as many as they want. But turning on the heater and the breaker, plus the seals and the ritual, along with the finding, the ghost information, and favorite item all provide another level of play to this game that just doesn't exist in Phasmophobia. There are also several maps in Ghost Exile, more than existed in Phasmophobia at release. As far as I can tell, they are all houses, which means players won't be traipsing through large locations for long periods of time trying to find the ghost or items. However, this also means that a lot of the locations feel more monotonous than they do in Phasmophobia. Likewise, a lot of the assets are shared from one location to another, making each house feel a bit more bland. Phasmophobia has much more polished locations with unique assets, and of course, items inside the houses are much more sleek and finished looking. For example, the Ouija board in Ghost Exile is identical to the Ouija board that Phasmophobia had upon release. And while they may be the same, they have less functionality in Ghost Exile than it did upon release in Phasmophobia, and certainly a whole lot less than Phasmophobia has now. One thing I did like about Ghost Exile is that being dead is definitely more unique and interesting than it is in Phasmophobia. It is easier to see, and players can't wander outside the location, although this surely gives me a Stranger Things vibe. Overall, Ghost Exile feels like a great game. It's unique enough to provide players with a different experience than they'd find in Phasmophobia. It's still early days for this game, so I suspect that as it grows, development will polish some things up and make the game better. If you like Phasmophobia, you will certainly like Ghost Exile as well. Have you tried Ghost Exile? Did you enjoy it? What were your favorite parts? And how did you feel it stands up to Phasmophobia? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting.